What's up guys? So today I got a video for you. I apologize for the long week. It has been I think a full week of no videos. I, I apologize for that. I've just been focused on raids. Uh, the, original, the date we wanted raids to be out is the 15th and that didn't happen. It's now the 19th. We're still working on it. But I wanted to give you guys an update on what is happening, what, how, what, you know, what kind of progress is done. I want to give you a little sneak peek. Uh, I asked in game if you guys wanted to see everything or if you just wanted to see uh, just a couple things and most people didn't want to see much so I'm not going to show a whole lot but I will give you sort of a rundown of how it works and you know maybe some of the requirements. Um, I do have some videos planned. Let me show you my footage real quick. I have I've been working on a new series with Pawn. Um, you can tell what kind of series it's going to be from the name of the clip. Uh, so I've got a lot of that. That's probably an episode right there, but I'm not going to upload that just yet. And then I also have some good footage on my, um, on my From Scratch, for, from Scratch series. If you've, seen, if you've been in game lately, you'll, you'll have seen what I got recently. So it's been, uh, uh, no, no spoilers, but there is something pretty good in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, let's get into how uh, raids are going to work. And before we, you know, start, raids is going to be called Boss Invasion. So that is what we're going to be calling it now, Boss Invasion. Um, I didn't want to call it raids. Raids is too simple and boring, and I think uh, I think boss invasion sounds nice. So that's what the mini game is going to be called. You uh, can start it over here. Uh, this is this whole city is called Corsair Cove, and this is basically going to be your hub. Let me zoom out a little bit and show you the map. So this is kind of an overview right here. Um, there's going to be quite a few things to do here if you're not interested in the boss invasion mini game. Um, but there's a couple of fishing spots. There's going to be some skilling locations. There's rune. There's going to be a couple interesting NPCs. You have Trader Stan, who also can uh, you can charter to get here if you want. Um, and then there's going to be you know like I said, quite a few things here. Some NPCs, some uh, some skilling things and whatnot. But it's a nice little hub. You have everything you would expect to be here. Your crystal chest, sinister chest. You got bank boots. Um, you got bankers. A ton of things. But uh, the actual raid starts over here. Um, and I know that we're going to call it raids a billion times, but boss evasion, that's what we're calling it, right? Uh, so in order to get down here, you have to earn uh, their respect. They don't want to let any, any re you know, retard run, <laughs> run down here and fight some bosses. So uh, what you have to do is if you talk to him, he'll tell you to... Oh, he doesn't have dialogue yet, but he, he will work. He'll tell you to go back to where we were and get Captain Talk's approval. So the only thing you need to do to get his approval is show him an Infernal Max Cape and an Assembler Max Cape. I think that's the ID. Nope. I was kind of close. So if you have both of those on, uh, you talk to him. You he'll give you some dialogue. You can show capes. I oh wait, I'll have to. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is I still have some tweaking to do, but basically you would you would you would show that to him. You have to be maxed. Um, you show him the capes, and he will allow you in. So then once you go back to where we were you will now be allowed down there. So that's how you'll start. How it's going to work is there's going to be six bosses. You'll start immediately on wave one. Uh, once you start wave one, everybody is there with you. It's a group boss. Everyone who contributes towards the kill will move on to the next round. So let me kind of give you a, a visual example. Okay, so we're back in. We should have his approval. We should be able to go down there. Yes, good luck. Good luck indeed. So that starts it, and this is the first wave boss. He is not here yet, <laughs> but I will actually show you what it would look like just to uh, give you... I've already showed the boss. The first boss is going to be the jungle demon. Um, I don't want to be fighting you. Let me just peer in you real quick. But uh, So how it would work is once you kill him, everyone who contributed damage towards him will get moved on to the next boss. And I'm only going to show him, so I'm not going to show any of the other five bosses. There are six bosses in total. You kill the next one, then you go to the third one, then the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, and boom, you get loot. If at any point you die, you are immediately kicked out. You do not, you do not save your progress and all to start over. Um, I'm still working on uh, getting it to where the more damage you do, the more reward you'll have. But I, I, I don't have that yet, so just keep that in the back of your minds. Uh, that's that's kind of how it's going to work. And then the reward system is uh, based on something. You will receive either a large reward medium reward or a small stash reward and they'll basically um, the big one the large one gives you five uh, this one gives you three and then the small one only gives you one roll um, how it works is it's basically the same as most other boxes where the chance of a good item in this case the the raid items I will I'll get them all in my inventory and show you them but um, in this instance those they are one in about 250 so if you get five rolls 
is basically one at 50 from this one. And one of the cool things you can get from these stashes is not only can you get the, the good and rewards, you can also get these busts um, right here. There's four different busts, and if you collect all four of them, you can exchange them for an actual item. So these four will give you one guaranteed item, and they're tradable, and they're pretty rare from them. So um, even if you never just seem to get lucky from the trade, you know, the stashes, you might be able to earn your way up with these. And these will these are only attainable in here. They won't be added in other places. So you don't have to be concerned that um, it will be broken or anything. So um, that's kind of how it's going to work. Um, I, guess, I mean, the, the rewards are just mystery boxes and placeholders, so don't worry about that. I don't have anything else to show you there. But uh, that's how it's going to work. My plan is 100% the end of this month. Um, I, I'd, I'd like it sooner, like the next weekend, like the 22nd. Well, what, I say it's Thursday, right? I don't know, today's Wednesday. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to give you dates because I already, like, the, the 15th already didn't happen. And everybody's sad. I apologize, but that's just, I mean, like, it's, if, it isn't, if it isn't done and it isn't good, I'm not going to, I can't release it, right? What's the point? Um, but we're making really good progress. It's coming out well. I think the ideas are coming together. There are two pets. Um, one of them is kind of, I wouldn't say boring, but it's expected. And you'll, it'll make sense once you see what the boss is and the pet is. And then the other one, I, I like how it came together. I was, I was struggling to figure out. I wanted something good. So I, I went through a couple different ideas. And the one I ended up with uh, for the final boss's pet is pretty cool. So let's stick with that. And then later down the road, if we ever actually get the real pet, we'll have some sort of gamble system for it, similar to what we did with Omelet. Um, so I think that's going to do it for me. I just wanted to get this video out to let you guys know that I'm not like... Um, AFK or anything. I'm still here. I'm still focusing. You guys will probably see me on Revival. I'm still playing. Um, there will be a stream Saturday. I'm thinking about possibly doing more six-hour streams. I don't want to do 12-hour streams that often. Those were great. That was, that was too much. It, it didn't help that I got drunk way too early, so I guess next time we don't drink so <laughs> so much so quickly. But yeah, I think uh, just doing some more six-hour streams or just some more longer streams in general uh, would be good. So. Anyways, I will leave the video there. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.